Hey everybody, Hunter back again from Showtime Studios. Uh, we're going to do, I guess, the first part of the tutorial on how to touch up your paint if you cut through uh, during the wet sanding process. Uh, we just talked about what we were going to do in the first video, so this will be the actual uh, video where we start to do something on it. And we have our body here, and I've already done a little bit of sanding on it, but I'm going to do a little bit more here on camera. Um, I ran into a problem with the lighting trying to show up uh, how things were coming out, so I had to change that. So we're redoing this video, um, but I do have uh, some of the 3000 grit uh, Trizac, I think is how you pronounce it, uh, sanding sponge. And this is what I use. This is usually what I start with when I'm wet sanding um, for polishing. Uh, sometimes I'll start with 2000 depending on how bad I screwed up the finish. Uh, but most of the time I'll start with this 3000. And they also make that in 5000. And some of my finishes that I do, I'll start with 5000. But since we're trying to cut through this paint and intentionally cut through it so we can show you how to touch it up, I'm going to use the a um, little bit uh, stronger grit there. And we did spray it down with the burgundy candy, like I said. And that was sprayed with a uh, number three needle and a Grex Tritium Series uh, Gravity Fed Airbrush at 20 pounds of pressure. And it was sprayed over top of the Napa uh, Gray Primer. And now what we're going to do is, like I say, I've already sanded on this once uh, in the last video, and it didn't come out the way I wanted it to, so we're going to go back over it. And what we have here in this little cup is just some simple bottled water. And the reason why I use that here is we're on well water, and we have a lot of sediments and stuff like that. We also have uh, rust and things like that that's in our uh, regular water. So, you know, even with the water softener sometimes, it doesn't cut it all out. So if you're on city water or whatever, just go out to your tap, fill up your cup, and you're good to go. But any of you guys that's on well water, you know, definitely check in to uh, getting a couple bottles of this water. It does very well for not only doing decals, but for wet sanding or anything model related. And it'll solve uh, um, some of your issues uh, with water. So uh, another little tip that I added into this video. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of this sanding sponge. And like I say again, this is 3000 grit. And we're going to go in and we're going to intentionally sand through uh, this burgundy candy. And then we'll dry all this off and I'll show you the damage that we did to it. And then we're going to go back in and we are going to put some more burgundy candy on here and show you how to blend it. So right now I'm being a little bit more aggressive than I normally would uh, when I'm wet sanding and buffing. Uh, the one thing I would like to say is for you guys that don't have a lot of experience in it, try to stay off your raised edges when you're sanding. I know um, a lot of people say it's very hard to do. Uh, some bodies it is very hard to do. But you have to be aware of where this piece of sandpaper is at all times. So any of these raised areas that we are sanding through the paint on, those areas really should not be sanded uh, in the first place. So that's just another little tip there. Always try to sand on your main flat parts and then try to use a little bit more aggressive compound to, um, you know, help uh, get rid of the rest of your orange peel or your flaws that you have in your paint and don't rely as much on the sandpaper to do it around these raised edges. So we've got this sanded now and I have cut through in several different spots. We're going to wipe it dry and I'll hold it up here and show you what it looks like. Uh, once we've cut through it and then we're going to do a couple of things um, it'll actually be off video because right now I'm working on the Pro Street Beetle and I don't have the hobby room really set up to do a lot of tutorial stuff but we're going to make the best of this and uh, hopefully I'll get all the information out there and help some guys out so we have it dried off now I'll hold it up here and show you the damage that we did to this body uh, you can see over top of the wheel wells there, we actually cut all the way through the paint into the primer. Uh, same thing up here on the body lip. That raised peak right there, you can see the gray primer all the way across the screen there. And then up here you can see where it goes back to red. And then tilt it and on the ra other raised part, we actually sanded almost through the paint. Uh, around the gas filler door there you can see it so if you run into that issue um, 
this is what you would have right now. If you were wet sanding your body uh, during the polishing stages or whatever and you cut through the paint, this is what you would have. So now we're going to go through the steps of how to correct this and make the paint all blend back in without any issues. Okay. This only works, uh, like I mentioned before, this is only going to work if you're using a house of color paint or, or any paint for that matter. It doesn't really matter what paint it is. Um, but if you're using a house of color and you're spraying it directly out of this bottle, uh, this technique will work. If you have added anything into this bottle as far as pearl powders or extra metallic or anything like that, it will still work. Uh, if you have sprayed this and then an inner coat clear with any type of pearl in it, uh, you are going to have a problem with trying to blend that in unless you do the steps that we do here and then on your inner coat clear with the pearl in it you would have to respray the whole body to make everything blend in. So this tutorial is basically just for this pre-mixed house of color paint um, and how to you know remedy sanding through the paint and how to make the paint blend back in. So now that we have this all cut through what we're going to do is, I'm not going to do this on camera, I'm going to walk over here to the, to the spray booth, I'm going to put a coat of um, something down on this, and then I will come right back here in just a minute, and I'll show you what we've done, and then we'll uh, end this video, and then we'll pick it up in the next part. So uh, bear with me just a second, you're going to see a, a empty table here, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Now, the only thing that we did to this different is I just went over to the spray booth. I turned the spray booth on, and I picked up my can of TS-13 uh, Tamaya Clear, and we sprayed a very light coat across uh, this whole panel. Now, if you were wet sanding and buffing the car, uh, you would want to sand the whole thing, and if you ran into an area, you know, like right off the bat that you sanded through the paint, go ahead and finish wet sanding the rest of the car. And at that point in time, if you've got anything that's kind of iffy on the paint job, just go ahead and sand it. And if it cuts through, use this technique and you'll be fine. Um, but if you just run into an area like, say, everything else was in good shape and you cut through on this quarter panel, uh, that's what this tutorial will be for. So what we did is we went in and we basically sealed down after we sanded this with a coat of clear. And it's a very thin coat. It's not a lot. But what that does is it will seal the paint, the clear, and everything will be under a sealer coat. So when we go back in to do our touch-up, uh, we are on pretty much of a smooth, flat surface for the most part. So uh, that's all we've got on this one. Um, I'm going to let this dry up. Then the next uh, tutorial that we do will be on, um, or the next part of the tutorial, will be with the airbrush and respraying this color back over these areas and blending it in. And then we'll shoot another coat of clear on that and show you how it come out. So that's all we've got for this one. Uh, any questions or concerns, leave me a comment on the video. I'll be more than glad to answer them for you. And as always, I thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.